Well, I've got some good news and bad news to report to you on the Nikon D750. Um, the bad news is that if you own uh, another Nikon other than the D750, uh, the D750 will make it look pathetic by comparison when using uh, older AI and uh, AIS uh, manual focus lenses. The good news, <laughs> the good news is, and I'm really actually shocked that uh, I could find absolutely no information anywhere of anybody talking about this. And I'm actually shocked that it actually took me so long to observe it. I did some test shots with, I can't remember what manual focus uh, AI or AIS lens I used on the D750 because I had one as a rental a couple, uh, not as a rental, as a borrow, a couple months ago. And, uh, you know, I, I just never thought about it. I was using aperture priority and uh, manual mode with the AIAS lenses. But uh, nobody either from Nikon or on... Uh, diaper and p review dot com or uh, any of the other websites has mentioned this and um, i just got done doing an exhaustive test both an aperture priority and manual with three different um, ai one of them is a fifty millimeter ai lens this is the older ai fifty millimeter f one point two which is notoriously heinous for causing exposure issues on uh, current dslrs but the d uh, the d seven fifty um, absolutely, I mean, you know of all the Nikons that I have, and, and I've used them all, and uh, I don't know what it is uh, either in their metering system, or either, either, either uh, just uh, non-flash or flash use, and which of course you have to use that with AIAS lenses, either in, in aperture priority or in uh, manual mode, the Nikon D750, uh, as far as uh, exposure, uh, absolutely smokes the hell out of every other uh, every other Nikon DSLR. Um, I'm astounded that nobody else has mentioned this, and so I immediately whipped out all the other Nikons and uh, D7100 and the D810 and uh, the D700 and. Uh, tip, and I'm so used to it too, as far as doing flash compensation and uh, the 50 millimeter f 1.2, especially like at uh, 1.4, even a 50 millimeter 1.4 is no difference. You're shooting at 1.4. Um, you have a compensation issue. Like if you're shooting, I shot indoors, no flash, tripod, um, outdoor, no flash, uh, indoor flash. Uh, both pop-up and speed light and uh, the fact that the metering is is so much it's it is empirically so not my personal conjecture that the that uh, you know I can't believe I'm the first to mention this the D750 does smoke every other Nikon DSLR so far as uh, accurate metering um, with uh, AI and AIS lenses, and uh, I'm kind of astounded at that. I mean, I would thought that uh, the D810 would perform equally as well using the same lens. I'd shoot indoors. I used a 50 millimeter one uh, f 1.2, and uh, used a 55 millimeter uh, f 2.8, and I used the uh, 200 millimeter f 4 lens. They're all older AI and AIS uh, manual focus lenses, and uh, I tried out uh, indoor non-flash, uh, tripod, indoor pop-up flash, which a lot of people do that. I mean, not everybody's packing around a speed light. Indoor pop-up uh, flash, um, aperture and uh, manual, as well as uh, as uh, on-camera, um, and also did the use SC29 uh, flash sync cable, used uh, off-camera. Uh, speed light uh, SB910 with the D750, the D7100, the D700, and my Nikon D810. And uh, I actually had no issues at any point in time, uh, especially, specifically, uh, more so in aperture priority than in manual. Uh, I had no issues with uh, having uh, to uh, recompose and reshoot uh, and uh, change. Uh, my uh, flash compensation or my exposure compensation of any of the uh, three uh, manual focus lenses that I use. So I did a test between the D750, D700, D7100, and uh, D810. And like I said, I shot each lens in the exact same conditions. Uh, Pop-up flash, aperture priority, pop-up flash, manual mode, um, tripod, manual mode, um, uh, outdoor, no flash, uh, and then I use the SB910 both on camera and then uh, 
then uh, off camera using the SC29 flash sync cable and uh, I'm still you know amazed that nobody's mentioned this but maybe nobody's noticed um, and I didn't notice until now I thought what's going on here and something's going on and it's obviously a good thing um, but uh, apparently Nikon has realized this issue internally and they've uh, they've uh, they've got better uh, matrix meeting for AI and AIS lenses on the D750 and uh, at first I thought it was just my own mental aberration that this was occurring because you know, a lot of times, especially with pop-up flash shooting aperture priority, you'll have to do a, a stop, three-quarters of a stop of compensation on an older AIS lens um, that are shooting indoors or with the SB910, but uh, I didn't have to do any of that. And that's not to say that the D750 is going to need some necessary uh, exposure compensation or flash compensation, but... Uh, um, that's that's the gist of it, and uh, I've compared... Uh, all the DSLRs, so the D810, the D750, the D700, and D7100, and I did uh, use the same three lenses and the same uh, three tests, uh, both aperture priority and manual mode with the AI and AIS lenses, 200mm f4, 55mm uh, uh, f2.8 macro, and uh, this, this isn't actually an AIS, this is an older uh, AI 50mm f1.2, I talk about a tunnel of light too, have you ever actually seen that? Most people have never seen the, the rear element on Nikon's uh, fastest uh, lens. It's uh, kind of astounding. It's just a huge uh, tunnel of light. Of course, your, <laughs> your depth of field at f1.2 is staggering. If you plan on doing a handheld shot at f1.2, then you're definitely smoking, cracking, diluting yourself. You've never shot with this lens before. But uh, that's a summation. I want to report this to you because nobody else out there was reporting this. And I didn't discover it until... Uh, earlier this morning and then I thought well maybe it's just my own my own brain fart that I'm seeing this and I'm not having to do uh, exposure compensation or flash compensation and having to uh, reshoot the shot um, on the D750 either in manual or aperture priority so that's good news if you got a D750 um, so that's uh, it's kind of astounding I don't know what the Nikon did to uh, change that in their exposure metering uh, on their lenses, they could have something in the firmware that's uh, related to the same way they have in the firmware to correct for S and R noise compression. They could have something additional in the D750 for uh, uh, that they're going to introduce. It, it would make sense that they would actually do that because then they they couldn't say that well we need a firmware upgrade for you know the Nikon D810 or the uh, D7100 uh, or D7200, but and you know, if it's a firmware, then it could certainly be an update, and it might be in the next update. I know I'm running the current uh, firmware, the latest firmware on the D750, which was updated uh, two weeks ago, I believe. It was updated uh, uh, somewhere in the end of May, like May 21 or something like that. That was the latest firmware update. I don't know if it exists in that firmware update, but uh, the D750, unquestionably, not my personal conjecture, uh, does produce uh, superior exposure and aperture and a manual using the older AI and AS lenses and I wanted to report that to you so that's good news and I uh, thought I'd report that and catch you all later okay bye